This Saturday, I'm going to be doing an Instagram Live answering any more questions you might have about Jedi Survivor. Instagram Live is going to be at 9am AEST time. So if you're not already, come follow me on Instagram and ask me any questions you have about this game and hopefully I can answer them in that live stream. So back in 2020, I made a video called Five Things Players Want to See in Jedi Fallen Order 2. And now that we know what Jedi Fallen Order 2 is called, Jedi Survivor, I thought it'd be interesting to make another video about things players want to see in the game that aren't yet confirmed. We already know Jedi Survivor is a massive extension on what Jedi Fallen Order was. There's so much more in this game and it's basically a more heavily developed version of Fallen Order. But with that said, I think a lot of players still have questions about some of the things that will be included in this game and whether or not the developers actually decided to include them to improve this from Fallen Order. Also, if there's something you want to see in Jedi Survivor, please let me know in the comments and who knows, maybe one day it'll come to the game. Let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> so a lot of the things players wanted in Jedi Survivor have already been confirmed to be in the game, like more dismemberment, like more force powers. So I'm not going to talk about those things in this video, this is going to be things that aren't yet confirmed. And the first of those is bringing back some of the planets from Jedi Fallen Order. There are rumors that you're going to be going to roughly seven planets in Jedi Survivor, and we already know one of them is Kobo, and one of them is likely Coruscant based on what we've seen in the gameplay trailers. But that still leaves room for us to return to some of the worlds from Fallen Order. I think it's likely at some stage in Jedi Survivor we could return to Bagano, considering the significance of that planet in Fallen Order, especially involving the mystery of the Zepho, the Astro and the list of all force sensitive children in the galaxy. I'm not sure Cal has any real reason to return here unless Seer is here at some point during this game and perhaps there could still be some link to her former master Eno Cordova but I think it's much more likely we could return to a planet like Dathomir considering Night Sister Marin is in this game. It looks like we're already going to be getting a lot more character development from the cast of characters in Fallen Order and Marin returning to her homeworld at some point during this game could be another significant event. And speaking of Marin I think so many players are desperate to see Cal and Marin's relationship develop even further. It was so clear in the first game, love signs flying across the room. Anytime these two got together, it was kind of awkward, kind of cute. And Marin was so happy to see Cal after he returned from his mission to the planet No, We know that the crew of the Stinger Mantis aren't together at the start of Jedi Survivor. So I'm guessing you're going to be playing as Cal going on several missions in the game to reunite the crew. And with the game being five years later, I'm sure Cal and Marin's relationship has developed a lot further. But that said, the Jedi aren't aren't really allowed to form a connection to another. I mean, look what happened to Anakin. Ends up force choking his wife and then she dies. But I think we also need to remember the time period this game is set in. It's the post Order 66 era. It's a dark time and companionship, friendship are huge themes in this game, just as they were in Fallen Order. So I think a lot of people are hoping for some kind of relationship, almost RPG element to this game, where you can develop Cal's relationship with Marin and hopefully live happily ever after, which is unlikely considering Cal is likely, hopefully, not going to die at the end of the series, but it seems potential, seeing as though we have no other mention of him in any other Star Wars media ever. Jedi Fallen Order had several significant moments during the plot, which I think you'd call wow moments, where a character showed up you weren't really expecting to see. We had cameos of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello there. Presenting the Order 66 message, warning Jedi to not return to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. We had the appearance of Darth Vader at the end of the game, and we've already been told Jedi Survivor has a bunch of surprises along the way, and likely includes a number of of cameos. And I think a lot of people are really excited to see who these cameos are going to be. We could potentially be seeing Saul Guerrero at another point during the story, considering his involvement in the Fallen Order story. Perhaps even Obi-Wan might show up again in some other capacity, or we could be getting someone else, like Ahsoka. We know she's around at this time and is potentially in contact with other Jedi. What about Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger? What about the Ghost Crew? Perhaps even some Mandalorians at some stage. That's something the first game never really had. I don't think there were really any references to Mandalorians from my memory. So who's someone you want to see during the game. For some reason, I'm really hoping Cal gets to go to Tatooine and gets to meet the great Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> a better battle arena is something players have been asking for ever since this feature was introduced into the first game. Players loved the addition of the combat challenges game mode, which you enter through meditation training at any of the meditation bonfires. But what was frustrating about this feature, especially on console, was the fact you could only spawn a certain number of enemies. Mods on PC allowed players to go beyond what you could do on console, and it'd be awesome to see something like this integrated into console as part of the base game. It's something so satisfying 
terrifying about mucking around in this game mode and facing off against a hundred stormtroopers. They knew they never stood a chance. And with Jedi Survivor now introducing more lightsaber stances, having a total of five, this would be a great opportunity to test your skills and even try out different stances. We know that based on some of the menus we've seen in the game, there is some form of meditation training in the game. So I think everyone's hoping it has a lot more variety and freedom than the first game. I need to cut up as many stormtroopers as possible. The red lightsaber is something players loved using in Fallen Order once they completed the main storyline and could use this in New Game Plus playing as Inquisitor Cal. We know that Jedi Survivor now has a white lightsaber crystal, but a lot of players are still hoping for a red option. It's not yet clear whether you'll be able to discover this in the game and unlock it at some point, and what other lightsaber colors are available apart from those we had in the first game. But I've seen so many comments of people asking if the red lightsaber is in the game and hoping that it'll be included at some stage. So fingers crossed you'll be able to go a bit Sith Lord with Cal, unlock the red lightsaber, and experience this game with the exact color of lightsaber you've always dreamt of using. All right, this next one is a bonus and something I've seen so many players talking about in recent weeks, which is funny because it's something so many people complained about with the first game, ponchos. First thing I noticed is he's not wearing a poncho. In Cameron! So many people still want the option of being able to customize Cal with ponchos. Poncho. Let's be real, Fallen Order probably had the best poncho customization in any game ever made. I've never seen a game with more ponchos. Poncho. So hopefully in Jedi Survivor, you can also unlock ponchos. Poncho. Which I feel is likely the most canon version of Cal you'll ever be able to play as. Poncho. So what's something else you want to see in Jedi Survivor? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to come follow me on Instagram. I'll answer some of your questions about the game over there. But also for more questions I've already answered, you can watch this video here. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.